Yo what's up gamers this is Samir from Let's Play Samir and today we're back with another video and in today's video guys I will be showing you how to display an FPS counter over here or anywhere on your screen it can also show you your GPU temperature its usage its clock speed and same is with CPU and memory and guys I would be using MSI Afterburner software for all of this I would be showing you guys each and every step how to display it and how to customize it and the link for the software would also be in the description below be sure to check that out and you can download it from there before I start off with the video I want you guys to subscribe to this channel because there are more awesome videos coming up like this video if you found something helpful without further ado guys let's get into it So guys as you can see this is the MSI afterburner landing page and then guys you just have to scroll down and click over here where it says download afterburner and when you click over here it has sent in a zip file and when this will be downloaded I will open it in my file explorer and show it to you guys. So guys as you can see MSI Afterburner has been downloaded and this is a zip file so I'll just extract it and guys this is the extracted file so we see this sort of setup uh, application file and I'll just run it as administrator and It is asking for the language we'll just go English and then next and then I accept the terms and then yes guys we also need this river tuner because this will help you in customizing it and this is also very important for your MSI afterburner and then you can choose your file location I'm just going with the default one and then just install do not create shortcuts so as you can see this is not completed but still there has been a shortcut file that has been created over here on my desktop so guys now river tuner is being installed and so you see the logo and we just go english next accept next next install so guys you can also click this and finish it will just uh, lead you to a chrome page so guys i'm unchecking show read me over here as well and yeah i will run msa afterburner so this is the MSI Afterburner window that you will get and I'm not going to take a look at all of this I'm just going to show you the overlay that you will get so for that you have to go to the settings icon and then in this you here you will see all of your GPUs and if you have like an integrated GPU and an external GPU to you in your laptop or desktop so you can check this from here and then guys we need not check anything from here it's just fine over here and you can just change this if you want to it uh, to start up and check the updates so I'm just going to never and let's just go to monthly checks on startup on monthly so now guys I'll go to monitoring and guys this is the place where you will see the things that you will select the things that should be in your overlay on your screen so guys for me I'm gonna tick the GPU temperature and this has to be ticked and in properties it should show on OSD that is on screen display and you can tick that from over here so first of all guys I'll just take whatever I want so I've gone with GPU usage and GPU temperature then I will go with memory usage on screen display OSD 
then this is the different cores of your GPU if your, your GPU is quad core then you will just see 4 if it is octa core then 8 this for me it's octa core so it's showing till GPU 8 so we don't want for each single core so I'm just gonna go with the overall CPU temperature and in screen on screen display in OSD same is with GPU CPU usage and I'm just gonna take that not I've already selected uh, memory usage so frame rate is not tick I'll just take that and just go over here and on screen display and guys you can also select minimum average maximum 1% lowest 0.1% percent low this type of also but I'm just going with simple frame rate and guys after selecting all of this you have to also go with apply so that it applies all of your settings and guys now I'm just gonna open a game and show you so guys as you can see this is the stats that we wanted so as you can see this is the GPU and it is giving me GPU temperature over here and GPU usage over here same is with CPU temperature usage and guys this is our frame rate I will tell you how to rename this and in memory we can see how much is being used so now guys I will just close the game and show you how to customize it so guys first of all I will go with the frame rate we were seeing something like d3 d11 I think for that guys we have to go and overwrite group name and this written app I will just go with FPS and this is the graph name if you want to display the graph you just have to go to on screen display click over here and then text and graph or just graph and then the override group name I've just written this I will just apply this so guys, as you can see minecraft is opened and over here it's not combined anymore now GPU temperature is different usage memory usage CPU temperature CPU usage and frame rates as you can see FPS so guys till now I have showed you how to override group name and how to show this on your screen now I will also show you how you can display your system time so for that you need to go to on screen display and you need to tick show system time and what it will do now is show your system time so guys now I've opened minecraft again and as you can see on the top left corner there is system time above all of this and guys if you want to change the color of the system time and the size of the system time that is where river tuner kicks in and guys you can find river tuner in this show hidden icons and this are clicking that river tuner would be open and I came back to Minecraft so that you can see it on screen live so click over here and then you can just go like I'll just go red and then you can see the system time change I'll just go back to my blue and guys if you don't want to be transparent at the background you can just go on screen fill so that it would be black and then you can also see it properly like the background won't hurt it that much I'll just turn it off I don't want it and guys sometimes if you open a game and this is not opening you have to just open river tuner and guys on application detection level you can go to medium or high but I like it at high go to medium as well and guys now to change the direction we'll just go this you see this and we can also type the number at which we want and then press enter or we can go with arrows if we want it to be very precise I just want it to be at this place only left top and to increase the size we'll just you know like increase the slider over here and the size would increase but I like it at this much so guys we do not want to cross this we need to we need it to be minimized and same is with the MSI afterburner when you are not using it and done with all of your customization so guys now I will tell you how you can change the color of this text 
and guys for that you need to open any of the these any of these can just click it and then press this three dots icon over here and when you press this you can also change the layout but keep it modern and then in the color libraries these are the five colors and with this there is also the system color that is the orange which is the normal one and guys now we just need to go down leave this as it is and then over here in group so you as you can see the cpu is under blue color so it is blue and the frame rate is under this i don't know this color but it's sort of pinkish and for that you need to just click double click this then you click this arrow and just click the color you want i'm a blue fan so i'll just go with blue i'll just apply and as you can see this is blue now and then any item i'll just go blue because it is not like proper so as you can see this was green and green was for any item and now this is also blue so now i will go down over here this is the place where you can change the color of this you cannot change this but you can change this fps one and for that you need to go to value color and from me it is frame rate none of this i have selected i'll just double click this go to the orange one the system default and then this will change this i need to also change this fps meter the unit color so for that also under unit color double click frame rate go with this one and apply as you can see this is matched with this one this is how you will customize this and then apply and then cross so guys now i will tell you how to change the layout of this the background one this one and guys if you like fahrenheit more than celsius or 12 hour clock instead of 24 hours for that guys you need to go on the user interface in the right most side by clicking this arrow you will reach there and in there guys you can change this from temperature format celsius fahrenheit and time format 12 hour and 24 hour i will go with the 12 hour one and guys using this user interface scanning properties you can change the layout of this i'll just go and choose something this last one okay this would be looking like this as you can see i'll just go apply this will ask you to restart it right now this will not restart your system or computer this will just restart the msi afterburner so i click yes and this will restart that i'll just go over into task manager and msa afterburner and task that it is closed and then i will open msa afterburner again by double clicking this yes and as you can see guys now this is showing the way we wanted it so guys thank you for watching my video i hope this video was helpful to you guys and guys if it was then be sure to leave a like and guys be sure to subscribe to this channel as there are more awesome videos about to come and guys if you haven't watched my windows customization video where i show you how to customize it and make it for more of a gaming use or a more of office use and guys the link for that is in the description be sure to check that out that's it for today guys we'll see you next time on let's play simulator